So for the animation, I first of all set my settings to uh, 25 frames per second and then I'll set my length, let's say about 200 frames. And I just quickly hide my walls here. And then I create a ball, polysphere, make it a bit bigger, quickly look into the front view. So I just get an estimate on how big the ball should be in a real world. Probably something like this. And then I go into the side view to animate my ball. So this should be second floor. So the kids probably would play down here and the ball would fly in a, something like this. I just make it probably a more or less linear animation so there's nothing too fancy about that. I start at around 50 because I want to make a camera movement before so I press shift and W for um, translation and shift and E for rotation so you can see my channel box they are keyed. Then I go let's say 20 frames forward and move my ball inside my window like so and I just add here some random values I just made them up so nothing special and then at frame 70 I press again shift W and E then I open up my graph editor and you can see the animation is taking place so if I now scrub through you can see the ball is flying now you have to see you have to make a play blast and, and see if it's more or less a realistic speed probably it's way too fast this is how my speed looks like that's probably okay it looks probably okay so now you think the animation looks pretty cheesy but when the ball hits the glass I let the physics take over the animation of the ball so after it's hitting the window move accordingly like with gravity and friction and all that stuff that's first of all everything I did for my animation I then just exported everything to 3ds max which I will show you now and then I, will, I select my room group and my ball group and then I go file send to 3ds max and then add to current scene or just send as a new scene that's back in max you should have your scene inside of here with your animation with the same correct frame range and you can see here's an arrow now I will show you how to use Rayfire and create the nice shattering simulation